Thank you, thank you. For those who are tuning in, this is Vitaly Command Sam Mayor S. Centeno from Etsy Consulting. Please share this video so we can help other service members out there. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna go right straight to our content. We're gonna have an interesting video tonight. We're gonna to talk about how to achieve 100% in your VA claim. How to achieve 100% in your VA claim. There's many service members out there that are struggling to achieve 100% or to go to the next higher rating and this video is specifically for you. So please share this video so we can help other service members out there. How to build a strategy to achieve 100% in your VA disability. Many service members have different conditions and lack the knowledge on how to build a strategy to achieve 100% VA disability. There's a lot of people out there helping service members that can help with a lot of information and VA disabilities with VA claims and information. But if you don't have a strategy, it will be hard for you to achieve 100% or to achieve that next rating that you want for pay purposes. I will discuss how to build a strategy and what tools are available for you to use, okay, to achieve 100%. I'm gonna talk about three steps in this video. I'm gonna go into a table here from the VA website, so you can do the computation there. Different methods, this is just a method to help you to achieve that 100% so you can see it yourself. The first step that you need to do is, break down the disabilities by rating. You could either use a calculator online, I'm gonna go into the website, you can use the table that BA has, it's a little bit complicated to read, so I'll behoove you to use the actual website wiki, you can use it and automatically does the math for you. You can write it down in a paper or you can use an Excel spreadsheet, whatever methods you can use, and help you out so you can see your ratings. I'm gonna go into some examples here so you can understand what I'm talking about specifically, okay? I usually use a spreadsheet, it's easier for me, and I'm gonna show you here in a second so you can see it, okay? This spreadsheet right here I use for every member that asks for my services. This is just an example of one of them. And this is what I do. Again, you can use a piece of paper, you can use a calculator, you can use the VA website, which I'll show you here in a second, but I'm gonna tell you why this helps a lot, okay? Once you have all your disabilities, which you can get from the VA website, okay, from eBenefits, you can do the breakdown, they also send you the letter, but you break it down, all right? And the second step to actually to break it down from higher percentage all the way to the lowest one, all right? I use a map here that you can use the percentages. I talked about the points and what does that mean to help you out to build a strategy and how shy or how short you are from actually achieving that next rating or how shy you are to achieving that 100%. In this example, before I go into the website, this person has migraines 50%, PTSD 50%, TBI, 40%, a neck strain, disability 20%, tinnitus 10%, right knee strain 10%, left shoulder scar 10%, and right ankle 10%. You can see the total percentages is 200%. For points, I call these points and I'm explaining here in a second why 92, and this person specific needs Nancy Marrero, thank you for tuning in. This person in specific needs a condition of 20% to achieve 100% for pay. This is how important it is for you to write down your percentages from highest to lowest to see where you are so you can reach that next rating or see how short you are of getting 100%. I'm gonna tell you why here, okay? But in this specific scenario, this person needs another 20% to achieve 100, all right? I'm gonna go into the website, which I'll post once I'm done with this video and edit the video on YouTube, okay? 
Here it is. Again, you can use a piece of paper. I'll behoove you to use the website. I'll post the link once I edit the video. This is the same example. I broke it down by conditions. Okay, 50% migraine, 50% PTSD, 40% TBI, TBI, traumatic brain injury, 20% neck strain, 10% tinnitus, 10% right knee strain, 10% left knee strain, 10% left shoulder, and 10% right ankle. Now, the calculator in the VA website does the calculation for you. I already calculated, all you gotta do is hit calculate, it's gonna do it for you. In this case, this person is at 90%. When I talked about the points, this is what I mean. This person's at 93%. I call these points and this is why. Because he will not reach 95 or 96 unless he gets a condition of 20% or higher. And this is what I mean when you can use this calculator. All you gotta do is add another condition, put 20 here, for example, I'm just gonna put a condition, uh, you can name it whatever you wanna name it. Um, this is just an example. Let's say uh, right knee pain, this is just an example. When you calculate, you see automatically does the calculation for you and you can see that this person went from 90% and the points went up, okay? And he rounded up to 100% for pay purposes. This is how important it is for you to use the calculator, okay? What does that mean? When you have something like this that you can use, you can actually get a better strategy on how to build it and actually how to see how short you are to either that next higher percentage or to 100%. The second step, like I told you, is to put the highest percentage on top. In this particular scenario, it was 50 migraines and 50% PTSD, okay? And the final step is to calculate how short you are from achieving a hundred percent like i explained to you this could be different from every service member depending the conditions that they have and also how high they can go in that specific condition i'm going to give you another example here in a second but in this particular one when you're building a strategy and i told you that you were shy of 20 percent to getting 100%, you could see that probably PTSD, you can raise it from 50% to 70. And remember, you have a year to either do a supplemental claim or a higher review, okay? So you have different options, it's up to you which one you wanna use. This is what I come in to give you a good strategy on how to move up. But you could raise that, that will give you 2% or 20%. And what it give you that 20% that you were missing, I put it as, as an example, right knee condition or pain, but this is an example. Another one you could raise up is a right knee strain from 10 to 20, either 30%. And you could see here how you can manipulate the calculator so you can see how short you are from the 100% or the next higher rate for pay purposes. I'm gonna give you another example so you can see again how this works, okay? I'm gonna give you another example here. This other person has multiple conditions but i'm going to put a spreadsheet here so you can see what i'm talking about okay this person has ptsd 50 percent tinnitus 10 percent and this he's getting a percentage for them already the other ones he's been diagnosed but he's not getting paid all right so again 50 percent for tinnitus 10 percent I'm, I'm sorry 50 percent for ptsd 10 percent for tinnitus Zero for sleep apnea, hypertension zero, migraine zero, the addition gave you 60%, point 55, and this person specific needs 30% to get to the next increase at 70% for pay, okay? Or a combination of various conditions of 10%, or a combination of 20% and 10%. This is what I'm talking about to build a strategy. This is how you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the website again so you can see this specific scenario, all right? Like I told you again, you can write them down, all right? PTSD 50 and 10 for tinnitus. The other ones you don't have to write them down because he's not getting a percentage for pay. But like I told you, 
all you do is here just add and you can play with it right let's say i want to see if a 10 percent give me the next rating of 70 percent okay you can calculate as you can see it's still 60. you see let's go to 20 percent all right it's still 64 percent all right you see the point what i'm talking about here let's go to 30 percent calculate and that one will get me the points that i need to get to 70 percent that's what i told you when you do the math and you break it down in that excel sheet a piece of paper whatever it is you can see where you are this might seem a little bit complicated but it's not okay once you sit down and you see the whole video okay and you can go to the website you can play with it and you can manipulate it to see again how tight or short you are for that next rating percentage or how short you are to getting to 100 percent again three steps all right number one break down the disabilities by rating from higher to lower let me go here so you can see a better example the highest one on top that's the second step make sure that the disabilities are in order with the highest percentage on top all right and number three calculate how short you are for the next rating for pay purposes or how short you are to get that 100 percent like i explained to you adding on that last column here pretty simple this can help you tremendously to achieve your next rating for pay or if you sure to get in that 100 percent that you are fighting for this is a great tool i will add this link into the video once i'm done here Watch out there if you live in the central florida area i can reach I can reach you or you can reach me and I can meet you so I actually help you or we can do a Zoom meeting so I can help you out. Remember, this is a great video for knowledge on how to strategize, to build a strategy and gain the higher percentage or to achieve 100%. And remember that a good strategy starts with gaining knowledge and the only way you're going to gain knowledge is educating yourself. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel in YouTube, X in Space Consultation. Do not forget to hit that bell so you can get my content. And if you have any private question, you can reach out on my website at etinconsultation.com, okay?